Hi everyone, I just wanted to make a video showing how to call CQ on PSK31. So I'm on 20 meters, radio set to 14070, upper sideband, got the signal link hooked to the MacBook Pro, running FL Digi, and the antenna I'm using is out there in the yard and it is an Outbacker Outreach vertical. Okay, so the frequency I'm on is when I actually just made a QSO on. Uh, there was a station nearby, so I've sort of been watching to see if there's still that QRM or if I'm clear to call CQ again. Um, so when you're going to call CQ, just pick a, a spot on the waterfall that looks uh, clear, watch it for a few minutes, and if no one comes back and transmits on it, then go ahead and call CQ. The CQ macros I use, um, I have two of them. The main one over there and then short CQ. And <clears throat> I'm just using short CQ. I find that it works better when there's a lot of people coming back pretty quickly. Um, but every once in a while if that's not working, I'll throw in the longer one. I don't know if there's a difference in terms of um, it decoding on the other end. Maybe if it's longer, it's more accurate in decoding or more people have time to, to come across it. Okay, now we're seeing there's a station transmitting right beside mine, and I don't think they're transmitting to me. Okay, I wasn't able to decode any of that. I just clicked it right at the end. So I'm just going to move over a tad bit more. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not decoding the stations there very well. Looks like one station calling another though, so I'll move a little bit over. The only thing I don't like about FL Digi is I don't know how to keep it from snapping. Anyway, I moved a little bit over. Let me call CQ again. And I'm putting out about 25 watts. It's 1140 at night, which is 340 UTC. The bands have actually been pretty good tonight. They were completely dead this afternoon. Okay, I have someone coming back to me now. And I'm gonna to try to type and send macros while holding the camera. Okay, UW3QU. All right. Ah, oh, crap, run button. See, I knew I couldn't do it. I was gonna say, thanks. I usually type a little bit of a custom message there and then I'll send my info. So you'll see with the macros that I use, um, I keep it pretty simple. Um, people know that when they see Dave that it's my name and when they see 599 it's their RST. So I just take out all the labels. Um, I spell out the full county. Sometimes I'll remove that if I'm talking to um, DX or if it's you know a contact I know is gonna be short and maybe I don't need to include all that. But just for a normal cue, so I'll include it. Okay, UW3QU. I don't think this is a station I've worked before. I can check into my log. UW3. No, that's even a new prefix for me. Okay, name is Yuri. QTH. It is Ukraine. Luna Charsko, Ukraine, looks like. KN86 IT. Okay, and he's including a lot of information. Now he's sending it back to me. I'm not going to send my full info. I'm just going to say thanks. Okay, so I hit the QSO macro. And I'm just going to say thanks. Good signal to the Eastern USA. Okay, then I'm gonna send gonna send my SK macro, which is thanks in 73. There's a lot of people who really draw out the endings. And, you know, God bless and hope you have a great life and all kinds of nonsense that everyone just ignores. 
So I keep it short, you know, thanks and 73 gets the point across. Okay, you've made 60, 6282 QSOs on PSK31. That's a lot. Okay, good luck and good DX. Okay, so he said 73. Now normally what I'll do is I'll type 7373 and then I'll send my CQ macro. So it'll send to 73 and then just go right into my CQ so they know that I uh, basically got their message and and moving on. Since I was the one who called CQ, I get to stay on the frequency. Okay, cool. I did that in one take and Ukraine came back to me. I think that may be a new country for me. I'm not 100% sure, but it's either a new country or let me see if there's any other UWs. No, so I think that is a new DXCC for me. So one take and Ukraine called me back. How about that? Okay, thanks everyone. This is KB3IPY73.